hey guys welcome back to my channel it's Naja, and i'm back with another video today i'm going to be showing y'all how i got this super sleek shiny and weightless silk press at home i'll be showing you guys all the products i used in my hair and all the tools that i use to straighten my hair so if you're interested definitely keep watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you enjoyed the video it helps me out a lot thank y'all so much for watching and let's get started okay y'all so let's get straight into the video like i said i'm going to be showing y'all how i silk press my type 4 hair at home um i silk pressed my hair about three months ago and it came out pretty good so i said you know what let me do this for my youtube channel because it came out really good so let me show you guys what i do for my silk press so i'm just starting off on um freshly washed hair if you guys want to see my wash day routine it'll be linked above and below and right now i'm just splitting my hair into two equal sections just so i can separate it and get ready to blow dry it okay so now that my hair is sectioned i'm going in with this leave-in conditioner from clean with nature it's my favorite um it's literally like the only leave-in that i use but anyway, um, so I'm just wetting my hair a little bit more before I go in with that because even though I had just washed it, it was starting to dry and I wanted my hair to still be damp as I was applying this product. So I'm just going in a little bit and just re-wetting it and then um, separating um, my hair into a smaller section so I can go in, add product, and move on to blow drying. Real quick before I blow dry my hair, I want to just quickly detangle it so that way I don't have to worry about that when I'm blow drying it. Okay, so now I'm going in with a couple sprays of that leave-in that I showed you guys. And you just have to use a very small amount of whatever product you're using because when you're doing a silk press, the goal is for your hair to be weightless and flowy. You don't want your hair to be greasy and weighed down. So when you apply it, just make sure you're not applying too much. Okay, so after I applied the leave-in, I'm also gonna go in with this heat protectant spray from African Pride. It's really good and also smells really, really good. And I'm just going to lightly, lightly apply this because I don't wanna to use too much. I'm just gonna spread it throughout my hair and make sure that I spread it evenly and that I, once again, I don't apply too much because I don't want my hair looking way down and greasy. Okay, so now that my hair is lightly moisturized and lightly protect it with my heat protectant spray i'm going in with my blow dryer this is a hairbrush blow dryer i'll link it down below um initially i didn't like this blow dryer but i actually really really like it a lot it makes the blow drying process a lot easier um only thing is it is a little bit hard to get the roots but other than that i really like this blow dryer and as y'all can see i'm just going in with slow strokes to make sure that i am getting um my hair really good so after a few passes i am pretty much done with this section and i'm going to move on to the next section and again i'm just going to repeat these same steps with the leave-in and the heat protectant throughout my whole head and then after i'm done blow drying we'll move on to actually pressing my hair okay so once again i am applying my leave-in conditioner to my damp hair it's definitely important that your hair is damp um and then i'm also doing some finger detangling going back in with that heat protectant spray i'm just lightly applying it i don't want to apply too much because if i do it's going to have my hair looking greasy and weighed down so just lightly apply it and as i'm blow drying my hair i'm just making sure that i get it really really good because um the key to getting a really good silk press is making sure that when you blow dry your hair you do a really good job so from the root all the way down to the end of the strands you want to make sure that your hair is fully stretched so that way you can have a really easy time pressing your hair and that way you only have to do one pass with the flat iron You 
Okay, so as y'all can see, I'm halfway done with blow drying my hair. I just wanted to show you guys what my hair looks like blow dried versus not blow dried. And just so this video isn't too long, I'm going to blow dry the other half off camera. And then after that, we will move on to actually pressing out my hair. Okay, so my hair is blow dried. Now I'm just going to go ahead and put it into a couple of sections just to make it easier to manage. Okay, so now it is time to start flat ironing my hair. I'm actually using a ceramic flat iron. Um, I didn't really feel the need to upgrade to a titanium one because I feel like this one works really good. And I heard from a hairstylist that titanium flat irons are more likely to heat damage your hair. So I'm just sticking with this ceramic one I got. As y'all can see, I'm just taking out sections and then I'm going in with the chase method. The chase method is basically just a way to flat iron your hair where you put a comb in front to detangle and then you follow behind with the flat iron and it just makes your hair super duper straight and it makes it really easy to straighten because there are no tangles or bumps in your hair. So usually people do this with a rat tooth or a rat tail comb. Um, for some reason I just couldn't find mine so I'm using this but later in the video I do end up finding my rat tail comb so yeah. Also I'm trying to just do one pass for each strand of hair just to help minimize heat damage. I really am not trying to be going over each section multiple times unless um, I feel like I messed up and I need to go in again, but for the most part, I'm just going to be doing one pass for each section. So I finally found my rat tail comb and it's just way easier using this because it's way smaller and easier to grip. So now I'm just going in with my rat tail comb now and yeah. See, it just is so much easier doing this with a smaller comb. So I definitely recommend using a uh, rat tail comb when you're doing the chase method okay so as y'all can see my hair looks very sleek and like weightless it doesn't look greasy or weighed down and that's because i did not add a lot of product i actually had to refilm this video because i filmed it a couple weeks ago but i used too much product and it didn't come out right so definitely make sure when you're doing this that you don't go overboard on your products because if you do your hair will look very greasy and very weighed down and that is not the look you're going for when you want to do a silk press Okay y'all, so at this point I was halfway done and I just wanted to show y'all what it looked like. I'm going to go ahead and play a couple more clips, but um, I didn't want to include too much just because I don't want to make this video too long. Um, but as you guys can see, I'm just going in time and time again with the chase method and yeah.
Okay, so we finally made it to the last piece of hair. So I'm just gonna do this. Ignore the part, I didn't finish part in my hair yet, but yeah. Okay, so right now I was just trying to like even my hair out because it is longer in the front than it is in the back. And it was really, really annoying me. But as y'all can see, I'm doing the bare minimum because I'm definitely probably gonna just get a professional to do it because I'm scared. Okay, y'all, so I'm finally all done. I think it looks really, really good. Um, like, honestly, with these results, I'm probably never going to get my hair straightened at the salon again. But I will say, I definitely do need to get my ends trimmed. Um, but I just, I don't know, I'm too scared to do it by myself. So I'm going to probably get someone to do it for me. Like, I'll probably get my mom or somebody to just trim my ends for me. Or, I don't know, I might go back in and try to do it myself. But I didn't want to get that on camera because... It's not a trim tutorial, you know, I'm not a professional trimmer. So I didn't want to include that in the video. But um, yeah, I think it came out really, really good. And I'm not sure if I said this already, but all of the products will be linked down below. Um, the blow dryer, the flat iron, and um, the heat protectant and the leave-in conditioner. Um, honestly though, like you don't necessarily have to use the exact same products as me. Like, you can use what works for your hair. These are just the products that I notice work for my hair. Um, so, yeah. I also just wanted to show you guys how the back look, just so you guys had a full 360 of my hair. And, yeah, that's pretty much it, I think, for today's video. Um, once again, I just want to thank y'all so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. If you enjoyed, please give a like and comment down below if you guys have any questions. I literally respond to all comments. Um, and then if you like this, also consider subscribing. But yeah, um, that's the end of the video. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Won't you let me in?